back. You're so polite. So hey, welcome, welcome. The the big shoe. <laughs> Remember, you never watched Ed Sullivan. He always said the big shoe. Yeah. Well, I, I, that's just the way he talked, right? Or did he say shoe? Oh, maybe it's a joke. I yeah, don't know. Maybe he thought he was hosting a shoot. Yeah, yeah. We used he, to watch. He, he did have some weird ideas. Yeah. So, uh, well, welcome to the big show, the big show. Mm. Uh, maybe the biggest oh. show. The people of the Midwest need our sympathy or condolences. It snowed again on Saturday. How much more can they take? I heard that. That's that's terrible. That's what's hard because when I was there opening day, it was seventy. Then when I left two days later, it's thirty, and then three days after that, it snowed. No fun. Well, so. Gene, that's where I like to uh, think where we come in. Okay. Here. Spread a little uh, sunshine yeah. on, the, on a cloudy day here. Because everyone's, you know, stuck at home, you know, watching, uh, you know, what do you call it? Judge Judy. Oh. On the, on, on the afternoon. Yeah. Today, this week, in though. People's th- Court. This. Oh, my mom loves Judge Judy. She makes a lot of money. Do you know that? $40 yeah, million? Sure oh, this week on American Idols, Adam Lambert's back. Midterm. Yep. All right. So uh, yeah, they're uh, they're stuck at home, Gene, with all the snow and with yeah. all the bad roads. It's that, yeah. Aww. And uh, they go to YouTube or they go to uh, iTunes on their podcast. Oh, look and, at you! Uh, they We're gotta doing... hear they gotta hear people talk about the Yankees. Who? The Yankees, Yankees? the New York Yankees, or oh. the, the the Boston Red Sox, or the Celtics. Mm. They got that Gene, would be even more depressing, wouldn't it? Gene, oh, now I know what you're doing. If you're from the Midwest, you got no options. You don't want to hear about the Tampa Bay Bucks. Yeah, Bruce Arians. Yeah. Oh, or uh, her, about the the Cardinals. Let's the talk Arizona some, Cardinals. Let's and, talk some Carolina uh, Hurricanes hockey. No. Uh, yeah. There's some Boston hockey. Hey, the hockey. Uh, this no, year. Gene, we no? we're here to fill that void. Oh, it's good. Boy. So we good uh, there's a niche, and we're gonna fill that niche All right. as hard as we can. So, welcome to the Midwest Sports Show. Hello, uh, my name is Chris Sass, oh. and uh, we got Gene Stacking here as well. Very Gene. excited. Last night I saw Fiddler on the Roof, the musical, three hours long. It's the longest musical I've ever been to, but it it could have been nine hours. It was so great. And then tomorrow, finally, Avengers. I know I'm late to the party. What? How'd you like it? <laughs> Uh, Gene, uh, I I got really sad the part where uh, that building exploded. Yeah. Okay. Did you just, see? Just brought tears to my eyes. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm seeing it tomorrow. So at the yeah. Chinese Theater, world famous Chinese Theater on Hollywood yeah. Boulevard. So very excited. All right. Well, Gene, we have a lot to talk about. Okay. Go we're, ahead. we're not going to talk about the Avengers. Mm. Oh, gonna, the draft was. Oh, that's great. We're going to talk about real uh, live people. Oh, that are not comic book. Based. Uh by the way. Uh, as far as the Bucks go, I'm all in. I'm a Bucks fan, well, through and through. Gene, this uh, is my first year being just a to preview Jew that we Bucks will be fan. talking about. Uh, we'll be talking about hoops, Gene. Yeah, big, that was disappointing. Big, what big happened hoops. To him. Big hoops uh, talk later today. What happened to him? And uh, after that, we're going to talk about the set NFL draft because yeah. the NFL season never ends, Gene. I love the the draft. I wa- This is the first year I watched a lot of draft. I didn't have the sound on. So I notice when you turn the sound off, you can watch things for a longer time. Because if you're just doing things and then you look up once in a while. Yeah, well, I mean, it's 15 minutes between each pit. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's yeah. a lot of time to fill. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, David Walsh does mention that. Uh, yeah, the thing about oh, the show. Oh, David. Ed, he's in Council Bluffs. You watch, in, you watch those. the middle of the snowstorm. You watch the People's Court and Judge Judy and all that stuff. And you're like, man, why would these people come on to the mm. show and all that stuff? Well. It's it's basically small claims, right? It's anything yes, uh, right. five thousand and under. Yeah, someone kidnapped your dog and they held out for ransom. Well, I think that's depending on the breed. I think that's uh, oh, okay. that could be a felony, Gene. Mm-hmm. But uh, or you get kidnapped in Tijuana and they threaten to behead you. Well, I don't think Judge Judy has uh, jurisdiction <laughs> over uh, Tijuana, Gene. <laughs> Okay. Maybe uh, the is county she, of Chihuahua, oh, <laughs> but uh, does, I don't uh, think Tijuana. Does, uh, so the El Chapo, but, El Chapo wouldn't end up in her courtroom. Well, that'd be a good episode. Though. That that, that, that's an if, if, if SNL actually yeah. had some good writers, so that would have been a skit. Hey, I, since I'm a, a, a veteran of the jury system, I was on a jury. I, I would have loved to have been on El Chapo's <laughs> jury, and I would not have been intimidated. They could have said, someone could have came to me in the dark night and said, if you don't let them go, we're going to kill you and your family. I go, 
have your best shot, Bob. Yeah, justice. I'm, Ju- I'm all. I'm justice yes. I'm up for justice. I my family yep. be damned. Yep. Although I love them very but, much. But uh, oh. anyways, um, the show pays for the uh, damages for oh, that. I for, see. That's that's how it works. Okay. So. And uh, Gene, uh, we will talk about the NFL draft. Gene, we are live from wow. the NFL draft stage. Oh, I knew that. Did you see how many people were at the draft? It was uh, quite a bit. Yeah. A lot. 200,000. I don't know 200, how. 200,000. They, they said the first night, two hundred. the street was just packed. Jeez. And then they said, In they say 600,000 total. Well, Gene, everyone's so fat there. It feels oh, like it's 200,000. It's probably only like 20. It's so great. Next year, I think it's in Vegas. Oh, yeah. So it could be in Green Bay some year if uh, they could somehow come up yep. with some. So they room. they left the stage up, they left the lights up. So uh, we're very oh, uh, we're still here. The yeah. remnant. Yeah, we're very yeah. glad the Did NFL uh, accommodated no, no us. K- Kuiper and, and Todd McShay. Well, they're Gene, gone. I, I, I turned on the ABC uh, right. coverage. Yeah, and uh, I mean, I think Reggie Bush was on there or something oh, like that, I didn't and watch some, the some ABC, other guy, and then right. they got this old ass guy on there mm. uh that does i mean like why why do we have like an 80 year old guy who uh may have scouted uh curly lambo <laughs> <laughs> well, what is this going to tell me about uh kyler murray he was on George Bo- Bo- boy likes to run <laughs> boy <laughs> likes to run okay all right thank you colonel wow you know? Yeah, they. they I, I thought it was yeah. very weird having this old. I, I, I wish I was. Is it Lee Corzai? Is that him? Oh, Lee Corso. Yes, Corzai? he was Corzo? on that. Yeah, Lee. Cor- he's on the. He's uh, college. They had some of the college guys. Yeah, he's eighty-three years old. Yeah. Okay, let's give it up. All right, <laughs> this guy isn't scouting shit. He has people that write lines for him, right? Oh, he's beloved in the college world. All right, it's, there's no mascots. A, oh yeah, Gene, there's no mascots matter. on the NFL uh, draft. All right, oh, right so right, put right. your. And is he the, no? He's not the one with the uh, highlighters, right? That's the yeah. basketball guy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I I don't yeah. Uh, All right. So thanks for the NFL for leaving the stage up for us. Very accommodating. Thank you. And Nashville's a beautiful city. They've been very good. They've been very good to all the NFL people this week. Yep, and uh, and to us as oh, well. Oh, thank you. Yeah. And uh, I did, a lot of people didn't notice this, but I got to announce the 645th pick for oh, the Green Bay Packers. Was that Mr. – oh, Mr. Irrelevant, he was from UCLA. He yeah. was the last pick of the draft. All right. And then we, uh, we'll have a little baseball update mm-hmm. for all the uh, baseball Come fans Come to find out. on there. But, Gene, where are you going to start? Uh oh! With uh, the as... debacle, I didn't. I'll the admit... debacle on uh, the Potawatomi. What the hell happened? Where I... Milwaukee comes in to their home to the First Star Arena, whatever the hell this is. Pfizer. Pfizer Arena. Whatever. Pfizer. No ghosts. Not the good one. Not not the Fister. Yeah. The Fister, the Fister Hotel is the one with the ghosts. I don't know right, why they right. named the, the arena the Fister. Hey. This it's hard being a Bucks fan. This is my first playoff run as being a full fledged Bucks fan. Yeah. Uh, this is my first go around with them, and they, they kind of let me down. Yesterday. Well, they steamrolled the first round. Yeah, uh, playing they, Detroit. That's yeah. uh, uh, and uh, yes, they got pretty much their asses handed to them oh, by Boston. Ugly. And uh, this this new fandangled coach, the Bucks, this genius coach, couldn't figure out that. Uh, Wait, he is a genius. Let's not be. It's only get, one get, game. Get the ball to someone other than uh, Giannis. Giannis. Mm. Giannis. 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 Okay, I can do it. Giannis Antetokounmpo. Uh, Gene, I had this and the Brewers game on. And oh, you Gene, did both. I, I got to say, Gene, uh, yeah. basketball uh, almost completely unwatchable. Oh really? Right? Oh, I mean, uh, I didn't watch any. It's kind of the same. I I realize the objective is to get the ball into the hoop, but you're just seeing the same thing every mm. 24 seconds, right? And mm. these announcers, they're not like. I mean, I, I'm assuming these guys are running plays mm. and stuff and setting stuff up. These these right. commentators, these announcers, they're not saying shit. Oh. Like, oh, he goes up for the rebound. Okay, well, thanks. I can see that. Was it Brian Anderson? Was he there yesterday? No, it was. Uh, it was the beat. No, no, it was. Uh, speaking of old guys that need to retire, oh, who, Hubie, Hubie Brown. Hubie Brown. He's got to. Who be, was fired from the Bucks back in the seventies? He's got to be eighty. He hates the Bucks. Seven years old. Or, yeah. Wow. He he forgets that they instituted a three point line thirty <laughs> yeah. years ago. Wow! Look at you. Yeah, Jim, digging deep, digging yeah. deep. Yeah. And uh, so uh, yeah, not 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 good. 
Not good. Boston loses. Or I'm sorry, Boston whoops up on Milwaukee. Yeah, that's that's not going to be. Got they, guys with broken legs score, scoring on the, the who whose uh, legs snapped in half <laughs> a year and a half ago scoring Gordon on the, Hayward. Yeah, yeah. I don't. know. Did he All play? Right. I, 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 mean, I didn't. I didn't watch like two minutes of this uh, game. I and that and if you watch two minutes, that's two minutes more than I watch. So uh, and you're yeah. a fan. And you're yeah, a fan. I'm Gene. a fan. I, this is my first year being a Bucks fan. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to watch the next game. Yeah, or unless right. it's up against the Cubs. And then, Gene, and then on the other side, uh, this Golden State, uh, what do you call uh, it? Or, oh, I was at Fiddler on the Roof. Fantastic well, show. Gene, I didn't watch it's this, an all-time classic. I didn't watch this game either, but all I hear about is how terrible the refs are. Yeah. And all this stuff. And uh, how all the players are just absolutely being little babies every single time they get touched. And, uh, again, I say this is the NBA is not a good product, Gene. This is not mm, a good product. You, well, hmm. I mean, I you're, you're telling me the shit that you're watching Golden State that you, any, anyone enjoyed that? Well, when, when anyone was it a good product? Are you just going to say Jordan? Well, yeah, I mean, back back in the 80s, well, you know, yeah, back in the early 90s. Rough, what about the Pistons well, when they're beating everybody up when well, they're assaulting people? Yeah, that when they're playing, good. yeah, get better. All right. All right. I remember I when they played the Knicks, those uh, those those Bulls Knicks series. <laughs> oh man! And the you can't, uh, NBA you can't East. defend those. Oh come on! Can you? Those, uh, that that seems to be the golden age, Gene. If I uh, that was recall. not the golden age. All right, and then uh, and Gene, I'll tell you what. The only thing worse than uh, actually waking up oh, to, okay. to a 10 a.m. game and watching the Bucks game. Oh, that's when they play. Is having no to hear minutes. Bill Simmons talk about the game uh, the next morning. On, oh. uh, Monday. Actually, I did not listen to it. I'm Gene. listening to it right now. Did he, yeah. did he say anything? Very full of Disparaging. Himself. He's still. Is he still worried about? Mm. Uh, he's. I mean, I hope he's saying like, uh, "Yeah, we got lucky, and I don't expect that to happen again." Or is he like, uh, "We're going for the." F- Have you heard about this? The chowder. No. The, the chowder. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, I do. They have odds. The grand slam. The chowder slam. Yeah. Yeah. So this is kind of uh, amazing if you think about it. In it, one year, it, so it, you got the Patriots winning this year. Well, the Red Sox. Does or is this like one one go oh, around? Oh, because Red Sox I, won last year, right? Yeah, but they, they, nobody's won since, so it's been consecutive. But Maybe yeah, it is the calendar year, the Red Sox would have to win. <clears throat> Although, All right, the, so Red yeah. Sox, Patriots, and then I don't know, are the uh, Bruins? Bruins are yeah, they any they're, good? yeah, they're in the second round. They All could right. win. And then, uh, it's, and then yeah, the the, the ch- I didn't know it was called the Chowder Slam. Good title. Uh, that's what Cousin Sal uh, tweeted out. So. Oh, okay. I like Cousin All Sal. right, there you go. Uh, basketball, terrible product, terrible now, series, what, you, terrible you, refereeing. That's just not, there's nothing positive what you're saying. Uh, yeah, tell me one positive thing from this weekend about these uh, so-called NBA playoffs. Mm, well, I, I, seeing as I didn't watch it, I, I don't know. A lot of people seem to like it. <laughs> and it's good for the city. Brainwashed. Well, technically, if if the Bucks win, the people of Wisconsin will be very happy. I think a lot of them will. Yep. Mm-hmm. I, uh, th- oh, by the way, my friend has 201 odds. Oh, really? Uh, if the Bucks win, yeah. At, uh, the, not, yeah, 201, he bet 100 bucks earlier in the season. Well, good so. luck to him. Yep. There you go. All right, so Gene, we're going to move on to something actually See, more interesting. I, I actually this the is draft the most, of another this, professional <laughs> sports league. The, the, so these guys can finally get paid, right? The the guys that. Oh yeah, finally. Yeah. Oh, by the way, Gene, I did have a joke. Uh, by okay, the way, that, yeah, why don't you save it for another? Yeah, time? Yeah, Gene, you know, again, the worst thing. Mm-hmm. Actually, this is an addition. I didn't actually finish this joke, All but right, the worst yeah, thing okay. about uh, Milwaukee losing to Boston. Why? Is uh, hearing Bill Simmons talk to Cousin Sal, telling about how uh, the game reminded him from the scene of uh, Teen Wolf that also was just like the scene of The Wire. Right. And also uh, how uh, the, the, the Bucks coach was Fredo. Right. Right? Yeah. These are, these are themes he hits. Yes, constantly. I know. I okay. listen to, yeah. All right. So I'm glad we uh, – I stopped the podcast just to uh, go back to that oh, joke. When so. the, the, oh, the joke. Okay. Yeah. That comes later. The punchline. Yeah. All right, Gene. Okay. All right, so uh, the, the big uh, the NFL draft. I I did watch. I mean, I had it on in the background. I wasn't really paying. So just we'll a, just kind of kind of go over some highlights here. Uh, Kyler Murphy, of course, right? I, uh, that would be Kyler Murray. Murray. Right? Oh yeah. <laughs> it's not Murphy. All right, so he's number one. He for they, the Cardinals. Taken... Jeez, I'll tell you what, the Cardinals really uh, bamboozled. Uh, wow, Josh Rosen. Josh Rosen, yeah. Well, man. last year he was taken tenth. How do you take a guy tenth and then the year after draft a quarterback? I don't know. Why'd you even take him tenth? The guy I don't know. he was not even that good, right? 
I, mean, I don't know. It? I mean, he's only a rookie. You got to get, you got to, I don't know. Who know what? I, I mean, maybe. he did beat the Packers. But I'm saying, like, his college career. I mean, he had a good college career, he but he okay, wasn't, like. not great. Yeah, he, right? Like, I mean, he, he, wasn't... he was well acclaimed coming into college. Didn't really live up to it during college. Yep. All right. And oh. then, so, uh, and then Nick Boza yeah. from the <laughs> Ohio State. Where he sat out all year to get ready for the draft. Yep. Which you can't blame him. Not at all. Uh, not he's him. playing for the 49ers. Right. Uh, and we're, let's, let us not forget he called Colin Kaepernick a clown. Hey, uh, but now his his tunes changed a little bit. I, I respect what he's done, he said to Kaepernick. So and uh, also got some attention from the president Donald Trump, I, oh, who, yeah. who wished him congrats. Made no mention of uh, the black player who uh, <laughs> was number one, and wow. uh, who was also the Heisman Trophy. But uh, Nick Boza, because he likes to use the uh, mega hash, hashtag, gets right. gets a shout out from the president. There you go. Hey, our president is quirky. Okay. Yeah, a lot of quirks. He was in Wisconsin yesterday. I think yeah, he, was, he was in Green Bay. I oh, he was in Green Bay? On Saturday, I think. Or, yeah, I think it was Saturday. Yeah, yeah. One of those days. Wow. Yep. Uh, t- told a nice uh, heartwarming story about how uh, women and doctors wrap babies up and uh, figure out how they're going to execute the babies. Yeah. Told, told a really heartwarming story about that. That really doesn't sound and, that heartwarming. And uh, Green Bay. Excellent. Yeah. Doesn't. I mean. All right, a couple right. other notes, uh, Gene. Uh, oh, I got I, the Iowa lineman. There you go. Iowa no, no, a, tight ends. Was that a – I don't know, whatever. But, no, we uh, had two tight ends taken. Uh, but uh, Detroit picked some guy number yeah, eight. He's T. a T. lineman. Hawkinson? He's a lineman, right? No, he's a tight oh, end. Oh, a tight end? Okay, all right. Yeah, both our tight ends – Got drafted in the first round. How amazing is that? Yeah, got, I don't think that's ever Iowa happened. Iowa had a lot of players this uh, this year, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, We're a football factory there in Iowa. Hopefully we can beat Wisconsin this year, though. Green Bay, uh, what do you call it, picked R- Rashawn Gary. I didn't know from that From Michigan. At, I don't know, who knows? Oh, who cares, yeah, huh? I heard Edge about. rusher. Right, right. So I guess. Uh, he didn't the... sack many guys in college, <laughs> but. Yeah, I'm sure he'll figure it out in the pros, uh, right? Wait, yeah. Okay. They're going to have potential. Everyone's got potential. Dwayne Haskins becomes only the third QB from Ohio State, taken in round one, joining Arch Schlichter in 82 and oh. Don Scott in 41. Wow. So that's good Good pedigree. <laughs> good pedigree. <laughs> Arch Schlichter ended up going to prison. Remember that? Oh, did he? I didn't yeah, know that. Yeah, for gambling. He was a yeah, lot of... Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Did, did he take the fall for uh, Horning? <laughs> Paul Horning? <laughs> He, he he got into more trouble than Paul Horning. Paul did. Horning was betting on games that he was playing, right? Yeah, I think and Arch Leister was. He got suspended for like one season. Yeah, well, Arch Leister got suspended and went to prison. So yeah. Oh, Jesus. Paul Horning did lose. Yes, he did. He yep. got suspended for a year. You don't hear that around Titletown, Gene, about Paul no. Horning uh, point shaving. Don't hear about that. No. Hey, we lost a pack of legend, didn't we? Yeah, I think so. Some 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 line. Horace Greg. Was yes, it? Yes, one of those some, guys. Yeah, died. Sure. Before my time, Gene. Yeah. Let me know when uh, Mark Shimura passes, okay? Then I'll. Uh, oh my God. Then I will grieve, mm. okay? <laughs> okay. Mark Shimura. I know he's banging. One of the wor- name. Wasn't he knocking on the babysitter's door and he was? Hey, he was. Uh, he had a bur- Jesus Aguilar has two home runs after wow, a huge drought. The so there you go. Uh, this is a great night. No Cubs. I'm. I, it's. It, oh, there's Bernie the Brewer. I'm glad he's still doing that. Uh, no, what the Brewers are good, and um, it's good well, to have a night off well, from Gene, the Cubs. We'll talk about the uh, baseball here in a moment. Gene. Oh, okay. Let's not, let's not get right. subs. And then Gene, uh, the Broncos take Drew Locke at number twenty-four. He, I don't know what it no, is. No, he was in the second or third round. Okay, he felt he wow, what a drop off he had this year because he was yeah he played at Missouri. Yep. John Elway is calling it a Brett Favre Aaron Rodgers situation. Yeah, well. Gee whiz. Just because uh, you say it doesn't mean it's true. Uh, John, I think this is a Joey Flacco, Drew Locke <laughs> situation. I, I there think, you go. I think you got something a little screwed up there. That's, I think that's, you had taken too many hits. Right, there, right, John. right. That's good. Yeah, that's good. good all right, there you go, Gene. Yeah. Um, all right, and the Gene. Huh? Uh, the Chiefs, Chiefs, oh my Chiefs gosh. know how to pick the the fast players. They that gotta, also they got to they got to do better job on the background checks because he had I mean severe red flags. He dropped it way in the draft because of his. But Gene, can you see that? 
when the guy catches the ball, he runs really fast, Gene. So, but uh, okay. of course, well, we're talking about forgiven. we're talking about Tyreek Hill. Did you listen to that? Did you uh, hear it? I did not listen to oh, it. Oh, it's uh, disturbing. But um, yeah, so a bunch of you know, a couple of weeks ago, past couple of weeks, we were hearing the stuff about how the police have been to his house. A bunch of times uh, about child abuse. His kid broke his arm, or his kid he broke his kid's arm. I should say the kid doesn't live there anymore. The kid, he's only three. Years yeah, they old. actually took him. I think right this yep, this from weekend both parents or something. No, yeah. no, they took him a while back. Okay, yeah, and uh, so but there's no like charges. There's nothing brought on. So well, they the ch- reopened the case now. That well, he, he, oh, I let me, see. Let me set I, it up, Jane. Oh, okay, me, that's how it works. You yep. set it up. Yeah, yeah, you set it up. You All pay right, it up. I remember that. You so set it up. Okay. everything seemed like it was going to be at least. Calm down, simmer down, just waiting right. for the draft to hit, let it happen. Well, let it happen. an audio tape mm. came about Yeah, where it was Tyreek talking to uh, T- Ty Linda. No, I don't know yeah. what his name is. His, his, her, his fiance. <laughs> she was. Might be uh, ex-fiance now, but uh, yeah. Oh, fiance. my God. Well, they called the cops. Oh, is that another one of your, your setting that up? No. When, when they, rele- they released the audio tape Thursday, the night of the draft. And that night, the cops had to come to the house again because uh, uh, he was not happy. Yeah, I don't think so. When he uh, saw that, I don't. Basement. I don't think. Yeah. That. So basically, the uh, audio. I don't, and I don't know who recorded this. It must have been his, her. His fiance did. Oh, she did. Yep. So, but they're Secretly. basically talking about how she lied to the cops, yep. and they're trying to get their story straight. And yep. she's telling her how he's she's scared, or yeah, she's telling right, him how right. she's scared, and he's like, "Bitch, you better be scared of me." Yeah, that's the, that was a, that's chilling. I mean, if you said it to me, I would be okay with it. But no, it was chilling. Well, Gene, we don't have a baby oh, together, okay. right? All right. No, so, I don't think so. So basically, yeah, they're on uh, tape discussing uh, mm-hmm. obstructing justice, and the cops had come. And uh, so that kind of again, Gene, when there's uh, proof, like right? a tape, audio, yeah. visual proof. That changes everything. It does. Now the cops reopen. He he's can have a. I think he's from everything I've heard. I've heard quite a bit. He's gonna have a hard time getting back in the NFL. Way I think it's gonna be way harder than Cream Hunt. Well, Cream Hunt's well, back Gene. in the NFL. Gene, huh? All he has to do is get Attorney General uh, Anthony Barr to say there's no obstruction. He'll be fine. Oh, okay. Well, that's all he's got to do. All right. Well, just, I, 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 that's I'd have to draw the line with him. Yeah. No thanks. I don't care. You wouldn't right? want him. No the Bears, Bears, Packers, Lions, Vikings. No. Get him out. Get him out. No, get, nowhere. Get in the, uh, He's not AFC welcome. West. I don't care. Counseling. I don't think he had to do counseling for his last when he he the other indiscretions or whatever the other stuff. He don't seem much better. Yeah. No. All right. Sad story. Sad story. Yeah. Uh, well, here's a, I guess, a good story. A story of hope. Oh, we need hope. out of Kansas City. Uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Pat Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes is going to be the Madden 20. That is so cool. Cover boy. Co- he, cover athlete. He's so marketable. I hope he doesn't do anything bad because he's he is absolutely so marketable. He's, That's why I think the Chiefs can survive without Tyreek Hill. They got Patrick Mahomes. Oh, you just need, they just need someone fast. Yeah. And uh, he said he's honored to be the uh, cover athlete and uh, cannot wait to get a debilitating leg uh, oh, fracture. There, <laughs> like all Madden uh, curses. Was it Aaron uh, Rodgers had to be Madden boy? I don't think he's ever been on that. No, I don't think. I he's... don't think so. Yeah. And by the way, Gene, you know who was on Madden last uh, last year or this uh, current year? Uh, Nick Falls. I have no idea. <laughs> no, it was it was Tom Brady actually. Oh, was, really? Okay. I was trying to prove a point saying that no one knew this stuff, and then I was like, oh yeah, it's Tom Brady. So wow. uh, that's the only reason why. I know that was such a good Patrick Mahomes, boy. Please can't. Well, he's going to be uh, on like ten uh, primetime games. I would this like year, to so. see. I know. Go Kansas City. I'll be at the first primetime game if ticket. Hey, by the way, uh, Bears fans, please drop the ticket prices. It's a low price. It's going for a night. good cause. It's still like four hundred dollars. Would you pay four hundred dollars to go to a football game? I mean, yeah, if I was if I was, if I was, if I was balling out of control. Well, I know, but if it's a, a Super Bowl, yeah, but this is oh, okay. We'll what, see. What else are you gonna be doing? Yeah, well, I'm, since the cubby I hole. Bu- well, since I already bought my plane ticket, I guess yeah. I'm yeah, you're of, already in two hundred. You in two twenty? Oh, more than that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. All right. 
And then, Gene, yeah. uh, let's get to baseball really oh, quick. Oh, I've watched every Cubs game. and Well, Gene, the Cubs, I'll tell you what, uh, it was only, uh, what, a week ago, maybe mm-hmm. two weeks ago, right. when uh, you were all doom and glooming. Two and seven. Ready to uh, pack Joe Madden's bags. I wasn't. No. But, yes, there was some criticism. Well, Gene, as uh, we record this, even though the Brewers are winning a game yeah. and the Chicago Cubs are idle, uh, Cubs are half a game above the Brewers wow. in St. Louis. Oh, really? I thought they were uh, in first place. What I'm trying to do for my own public wellness is uh, not look at the standing yet. I know what the Cubs' record is. They're 14 and 12. But I'm just trying to enjoy the game. But last night, it went into extra innings. And, uh, wow, uh, it went into extra innings. And I I was at Fiddler on the Roof, and I wanted to check the score, but then I didn't want to ex- – they didn't have phones back when they immigrated to America. So I waited till intermission. Yeah, and in, in honor of the uh, – Yeah. Yeah. The uh, people driven out of their own homeland. Yep. So, oh. but uh, yeah. So, yeah. But the Cubs have uh, bounced back, huh? Yeah, they're, they're playing good. better. They're playing. Pitching's good. Yeah, that's all it's it. been pretty good. And they got and they come home. Well, they go to Seattle and then they come home and play the Cardinals and the Brewers. So Uh-oh. here we go. Well, here we go. Time to get Fuck back home. in the loss cone. I love. Oh, wow, they played man. 15 innings. Yeah. Yesterday it was oh, the second crap. longest game at Chase Field. I know, and then in the fifteenth inning, the Cubs scored three runs, uh, and then the then the Arizona scored two in the bottom, and the the last guy with the guy on base hit it deep, and it looked like it's oh, a yeah. home run, but Zobers caught it. Yeah. Right, well, thank God he got the day off, huh? Those yeah, those late games uh, yeah. are really bad. So yeah, you play the Marin Dan all the way to the Mariners w- yep. West Coast. Yep. West Coast game. All right. Well, Gene, uh, the Brewers. Here's some other news. Speaking about the Brewers, uh, they picked up Gio Gonzalez, oh, who yeah. was kind of looking yeah. for a team. I guess it, it wasn't a lot of demand for him. What's going on with I him? I mean, he's, he's a competent pitcher. You yeah, know he I mean? was good for the Brewers. He was okay for the Brewers last year. I just think he's he's a vet, so I think his price tag is just too yeah. high for what people are uh, willing to pay for him. So, But he's, uh, I guess he's making $2 million plus a lot of uh, whatever uh, incentives. Yeah. Well, so. And the Brewers were in New York playing the Mets. They took mm. two out of three. Oh, you did? Okay. And I, yeah. a during a pop-up, I shouldn't really say a pop-up, but during oh. a long fly ball right. towards Ryan Braun that actually hit the wall, a fan. Oh, that that's great. A Mets fan had a right. beer yep. and tried to catch the ball with a beer. Which is always a good move by fans. Sometimes it works. Yeah, a uh, eighteen dollar beer. Right. Did not catch the ball. The ball oh. bounced off the wall. Uh, but some of the beer mm. fell on Ryan Brunt. How did he react to that? Was he happy? Was well, he Gene, okay? he was not uh, not happy about that. Gene. Oh. <laughs> not pleased. Oh, did he, did he? He. I hope the fan didn't have to leave. Actually, no, the fan did not leave. Did not oh. have to leave, which I was kind of surprised wow. by. Uh, but yeah, Gene Braun, Ryan Brown was not happy about it. He's uh, he's more of a juice man. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> I'm pretty proud of that one. All right, I'm pretty proud of that. One. What kind of beer? Yeah, it's got to be Miller beer, ham. Juice man. He's the yeah. juice. He's a juice yeah. man. Steroids, Gene. Right. I, yeah. Yeah. Okay, right, blame right. others. Don't look at yourself. Yeah. Blame the guy who was holding your uh, urine kit at his home. That was maybe that. I mean, all the bad things in sports, that was one of the worst. Just not not the steroids part, but the way he really went after that guy. Well, Gene, how about uh, if you uh, got busted for steroids and it turned out someone was holding your urine in their uh, private garage? Oh, no. Would you, uh, not, would you oh, bring that up? God. Would you you'd ignore that? You'd just be oh. like, oh, yeah, suspend me. Oh, boy. Mm. Right? That's Ryan Brown. All right, all right, Aaron Rodgers, how he feels about Ryan By the way, Brown. they were at the Bucks game. Like some of the Brewers and then A Rod was uh, at yeah. the Bucks game one of those uh, nights. What is he doing in Milwaukee? Aaron Rodgers. Well, I mean, I think people can travel. I mean, it's it's like a but hour it's away. Great. Well, I know, but he, he's not living in Green Bay in the off season, is he? He might. Who knows? <laughs> I, I, don't know. I, I don't know. I'll just it, say hey, this. he ain't leaving Chino, California. Right, right. He's living it in is, his parents' I basement. I think it's so cool because when the Badgers were in uh, NCAA, he was at the Badger game. I just think it's so cool he supports the state of Wisconsin like that. Yep. Even though Very he's a Cal cool. fan. He's yeah. a Cal. Uh, well, yeah, but you know what? Cal didn't want him, so I think that's why he doesn't really like Cal. So, mm-hmm. or any of those other teams. So, 
All right, well, there we go, Gene. Uh, so what do we got looking forward to? So again, well, the, uh, better weather ahead. No more. Hopefully, I looked it up. I think it's only snowed once in May in Chicago, so hopefully that won't happen again. All right. And, so mm-hmm. Brewers play a four. I meant sports, Gene, but okay. Oh, uh, Brewers play a four game series against the Rockies, okay. and then they're playing the Mets again. Gene, I don't, I don't know if this has happened to the Cubs, but it seems like we, yes, we're playing. We've already, we're done with the. No, are we done with the? You're done with the Dodgers. Yeah. So yeah, it, the Brewers. This are done happened with the already. Dodgers. So we we play the St. Louis and Milwaukee, and then in St. Louis yeah, we play the we, Dodgers in uh, L. A. and then in Milwaukee. It's like we're playing the same teams like within a week. Yeah. Oh, we're other. doing. Cubs are doing that. The Cubs are going to be done with the Marlins after. Uh, yeah, this homestand so. schedule is really screwed up. I don't really understand. But man, that. it's good to be done with the Dodgers. You guys did well to get rid of them. So yeah, those yeah, teams three are out tough. of seven. So uh, that's pretty. Yeah. That's okay. And then uh, so that what again the Cubs play. They, uh, we have the Cardinals and, and the, then Cardinals. the Marlins. Cardinals and are good. The Brewers. Cardinals swept the Brewers I, in St. Louis. So. I saw that. What. I, so they are good. Mm, pirates, that's a that's a mirage. Is it? Would it be a mirage? Uh, they, they probably won't last. And yeah. then, uh, yeah, then you guys play on uh, what ESPN on Sunday yeah, night? Sunday, uh, I think the Cubs are on Sunday night baseball. Well, they play the Brewers on Sunday night baseball. I think the following week. They play. Uh, <clears throat> they play on Sunday night baseball. The Cubs and the uh, Cardinals like ten right. times a year. It seems like. Yeah. You know, uh, the people that are actually interested in that game are slowly yeah. dying out. And so. and even though Joe Madden's not signed for next year, he's not letting that be. He's putting his all into this team. Yeah. There you go. He's slowing down games by changing pitchers every he, uh, uh, every no, other hitter. He's he's Joe Madden's sixty five. He's not going anywhere. He's going to keep going. He's 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 Popovich and Belichick. He goes to San. I bet he goes to San Diego. How about that? Mm. He goes someplace on the beach. Right. Right. To just good, kind good. of be out of the spotlight, yeah, yeah, just like Tampa. I hope the Cubs. Well, if the Cubs win the World Series, oh please, <laughs> then then I all right. Well, if 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 the baseball gods shine down on him, and then and then he'll come back. They can't fire him after that. Please don't fire him, Theo. But he's not coming back. Mm. He, he, it doesn't matter if he gets fired. He's not. I think. No, he's, I think he he's done with the Cubs. To. They they haven't. It, okay, we'll figure it out later. Yeah, would you want to uh, have to deal with uh, Anthony DeRizzo and Chris Bryant every yes. single day? And uh, Javi? Javi, got, got probably... Javi could be the best player at baseball. If not now, he's he's pretty far up there. Pretty awesome. Yep, sure. Sure thing. All right. Okay. All right, well, Gina, uh, that's going to be it. That's the show yeah. for this I week. My, Cubs, my sister Don gave me this uh, Cubs sweatshirt. Love it. And right, I'm flying cool. the W. It's hard to see, but when the Cubs win, they fly the W. All right, there you go. So I'm doing that. Flying, flying a bunch of W. So, yes. um, again, if oh. you uh, if you like the show and you want to support it, uh, there's a little share button. Yeah. On the Facebook. So why don't you go to do so that? So many. I my mom and uh, I was gonna say dad. Oh, I lost my dad a long time. Ago. Low. My mom and mom's lover. Low. Boyfriend, I think's more uh, appropriate. They're both eighty three. Why don't you say dad? How about that? <laughs> no, no, they're not married. They're Commonwealth. Common, common law marriage. They have to be together for seven years. Yeah, you know? I don't think they're yeah. going to make it. Oh, I don't. know. They're doing pretty well. Right. So, uh, love you guys and and to our friends, uh, Shonda out there, in the, in Rangerland. I went to Don. They were at the. They do a great tailgate, and they were so welcoming. The Rangers fans, because I was there for the Cubs game, and I, I was the only Cubs fan at our. The, they were so accommodating. The people in Texas, especially Ulysses, are beautiful. Yeah. All right, there you go. Thank you, Shonda. So we're and, and, and Diane too. All right, Diane. All right, so we are gonna call it a show. Oh, thanks. And if Fiddler in the Roof comes to your town, yes. Oh yeah. I'm trying to do some uh, Yiddish, but I don't know any. That's how oh, that's how waspy I am. All right. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everyone. Yeah. Bye bye. Oh, goodbye then. <laughs>